In this video, we are going to demonstrate the batch workflow for FBA shipment with one box and Amazon label. To start, make sure you are in Merchant Fulfilled Channel and Turbo Lister. Double check by going to Menu Setting. Under Fulfillment Channel, you'll want Merchant Fulfilled selected. If not, select it, then click Save. Let's set the default pricing and general grading for this batch workflow. In this example, my items are in good condition. You can add additional notes if you'd like. Next, I'm going to change the SKU prefix. Since my items are books, I'm setting the tax code to A books gen. Next, I'll go ahead and click batch. To import, click on the import button. Locate your text file containing your items then click open. My list of items will appear on the batch window. Go ahead and click process. The items will appear on the bottom of the program. Once the process is complete, click OK and exit out of the batch window. Next, go over to the submit page. Go ahead and click submit feed and confirm by clicking yes. Let's monitor the progress of the feed we just submitted by going to the feed page. Please make sure the feed status is completed, which means it is listed on Amazon successfully before you continue. If the status is failed, depending on the situation, you may need to edit or remove your failed items. Our feed status was complete. We can now continue with the next steps in Seller Central. In our next step, we log into Seller Central where we are going to convert our MF items to FBA and create a shipment. From the home page, go up to Inventory and click Manage Inventory. From there, we are going to filter our search by clicking on Merchant and locating our batch items by typing in the search bar, the SKU prefix we created in Turbo Lister. The page will refresh. Go ahead and select all items in this batch. Then click on Action on Selected. We are going to click Change to Fulfilled by Amazon. A message will appear confirming if you'd like to continue. Click Yes to continue. On the next page, you may have to include required information by Amazon regarding the items. After you've filled it out, click Save and Continue. The following page will include Sending Replenish Inventory. Click Continue to Shipping Plan. Add the quantity for your items, then click Continue on the bottom of the list. Go ahead and click Continue again. When it comes to who will label the items, go ahead and select Amazon to label them. Then click Continue. In the next page, we will be viewing the shipments. Go and click Approve Shipment. Our shipment will appear. On the right hand side, click work on shipment. On the next page, scroll down to step 3, shipment packaging. Under how will this shipment be packaged, select everything in one box. You'll be prompted to enter the box weight and box dimensions. After you've entered the information, click confirm. Under step 4, shipping charges, click calculate to get an estimate of the cost based on the information we've provided. Click to accept the terms and conditions then click Accept Charges. You can go ahead and print the box labels. Follow the instructions provided to the left, then click Complete Shipment. 